I'm Kim Bennett and I am the project manager for the home project which was delivered for Swan Hill Harmony Day in 2017. I worked very closely with artist Daryl Cordell who designed the home project many years ago. We were so fortunate to have such a great response from the community. Uh, we had the Swan Hill Woodworkers and the Kerrang Men's Shed made our beautiful little timber homes out of timber that was donated by Karini Building Supplies and Dalsons. We had 1,200 little houses that went out into community groups, uh, into schools, and people uh, participated in workshops to design their own very special representation of what home means to them. Home, home is where we've done, well, where I've always been. We've raised a family there. We have quite a lot of good family get-togethers. Nothing better than having a good family barbecue out the back. Well, I, I guess uh, home still means a bit in the country life on the, on the farm, I just, uh, even though I'm past and uh, over it now, but I uh, still call out the farm home. Home means to me what, uh, where we settle. We make a home wherever we go and uh, that's about the way we have. I made this flower but it's still gonna work. I don't think it's going to sit on here. These are the CGEA students from Swan Hill and Surrounds. These students are recently enrolled in a course which engages them in community and industry activities around Swan Hill. We thought it was really important to get involved with Harmony Day, which is a very, very important event in our community. And these young people are here today displaying what home means to them, using their little house that has been given to them and they're having a great, great time. It's encouraging discussion, creativity, and I think they're all really enjoying it. I am too, I'm loving it. Home to me is the place where you belong. So to me, that could be several places. It's here at work, this is my home, and I do um, 
stress with my students that when we come here to Sunny Tape, it's a family environment in that we become a family in ourselves. But I think that's because my home, my personal home is so important to me with my children. When I feel most at home when I'm fishing on the river in Barrenald and camping under the stars with a round of fire and eating traditional food. My name is Caitlin Wilson and I made a horse home because I pretty much ride horses. Mum and Dad have got over 12 horses. so. Um, Pretty much horses are my living, so that's why I chose to make a horse house. <laughs> uh, my name's Brad Gilbert and I just thought I'd decorate my house with a hedge, a grass hedge, and put a little cat on the top of the roof and colour it in my favourite footy colours, Western Bulldogs. And what does home mean to you? Uh, home means everything to me. It means like go somewhere where you're safe and wherever you need protecting or somewhere you need somewhere to talk to so it means good thank you daryl for uh, for letting us do your project here in swan hill i've been telling uh, everyone we're making a village out of the little homes yeah. uh, well I, I it's a pleasure i mean it's just great to see it uh, being uh, reinvented and it's great to see it in a, in a rural community mm -hmm. as well. I think it lends itself to, to smaller scale stuff. Um, the, the one we did at the Arts Centre was huge and, and got great response but this, I think you can get a better sense of community uh, here with, uh, with in a rural uh, environment. For me, I think it works on two levels. I think it works on an individual level and I think it works very strongly on a community level. So. Um, I think individuals have the opportunity to, um, to talk about things that are important to them, to express their notion of what home means. I think on a community level it allows uh, diverse groups to come together, to have a, to have a shared experience and, and to, have, to, have a, to have a bigger conversation. So uh, that's what it is to me. We've had some great uh community uh, engagement already with the Swan Hill Woodworkers Group uh, coming forward and making the first 800 houses and we've got another 400 coming from uh, the Kerrang Men's Shed uh, and so they were very, very enthusiastic to start making the little houses. Um, we've had some great sponsorship from Darlson's and from Karimi Building Supplies. Uh, in donating the timber as well. So people have really kind of been um, uh, captured by the whole concept, which I think, Daryl, means you're a genius. No, it doesn't mean that at all. What it does speak of is um, the, the, the wonderful community that you've got in, this, in, these, in these two towns. And uh, you've been able to uh, get enormous support. I mean, when we made the houses for the Arts Centre, they cost a fortune because we had to buy the timber have them cut, have them branded, and it cost a lot of money. You've been able to, well, pull off a bit of a miracle, really, by getting all of this support. So um, I think that's great. And hats off to you for doing it, um, yourself and your assistant, who really, when we did the Arts Centre one, you know, then there was probably 50 people overall throughout the project working on it, and uh, you're doing the work of 50 people. So isn't that great? You're the genius, there you go. <laughs> been a great response yeah. from all the local community and to see so many teachers here is just uh, wonderful so uh, and everyone's enjoying themselves yeah. which um, I guess they'll take back into their classrooms and uh, 
and enthuse all the kids. Mm. So, you know, very, very good. Both, uh, both sessions have been excellent. It's great. Yeah, terrific. Mm. We've had about uh, 20 teachers and about five artists uh, come through in the last two days, which yeah. is great. And they'll be able to take what they've learnt mm. back into their classrooms and into their groups. Yeah, which is uh, great because uh, in the city, when we did the project at the art Centre, I think we only managed to get 10 teachers come along overall. So the response here is... Uh, it's great, and just shows uh, what a great uh, community we've got here. I'm Kelly Knight, and this is my home, little number 90. And basically, I chose images that my fiancé took of our farm, because farming's been in our blood since we were both born. It's what you do around here. It's what we do on the weekends. It's what we do... 24 hours a day, you're never off work on a farm. Hi, I'm Barb Harris, and uh, my uh, concept of home involves family. And um, I live on a river, and it's very much a part of um, our family. It nurtures our soul, along with the river red gums, forests. And so I've symbolised each of those um, things in my home. And uh, I just love the idea that we all get a chance to express what our concept of home is. I'm Archana Patni and uh, I've uh, been in Swan Hill for about 10 years now. So I was born in India and my hometown is a little valley uh, in uh, just the foothills of the Himalayas. So I've shown uh, the mountains there and a lot of green forests and the Ganges River, which is depicted by the blue here. And then I take you to my home here in Swan Hill. So we've got the Murray River and we've got the gum trees. I'm Samantha Mullen and I love playing the piano. So I decorated my house with the piano and I've been playing the piano for four years. 